Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you how to make a sugar syrup for your soap making, for your soap recipes. Why would you want a sugar syrup? Well, sugar added to soap recipes, handmade cold process or hot process soap, boosts the lather of the soap. And why make a syrup instead of just using plain old um, sugar? Well, a syrup is much easier to mix into your soap recipe. You can mix a syrup in at any point, um, whereas if you just use the sugar in the granular form, like this is just some white sugar, if you use it like that, you have to dissolve it in your lye water before you uh, make the lye solution. And you know, you can do that and that's fine, but I find it a lot easier to pre-make a sugar syrup then you've got a liquid in a jar ready to go that you can just add into your oils or your soap batter or add it at any stage that you like. So this is easy peasy. All you do is measure two parts sugar. So I'm going to do two cups of sugar and it doesn't have to be exact. Two cups of sugar. This is just white cane sugar, just the cheap stuff from the supermarket. Uh, two cups of sugar and to that I'm going to add one cup of water. This is water that was boiled earlier but as long as it's clean um, drink, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? As long as it's clean <laughs> drinking water that will be fine because we're going to heat it. So one cup of water and just add that in with the sugar. And then we're just going to heat that up and dissolve the sugar into the water. So just do this on uh, low or medium heat. We don't want to really heat this and caramelize it and turn it into toffee or anything. We just want to melt the sugar in the water and that is all. Uh, if you cook it too high for too long, it will start to get a caramelly toffee color to it which we don't want we want to keep this nice and clear so that it doesn't discolor our soap and while that's melting I'll just explain a little bit about how you use this um, generally with sugar I like to add sugars to soap batters at about one to two percent of the uh, base oils like the oil batch amount for the soap recipe so if you're using um, say if you're making a Castile soap and it's got a thousand grams of olive oil as the base oils for the recipe, then for 2% sugar of that thousand oils, that would be 20 grams of sugar. Um, now obviously this has got some water mixed in with it, so it's a little bit more dilute than straight sugar, um, but I would still use this at one to 2%. You do get a little bit of evaporation when you're melting this through and it's still strong enough to, I find it's still quite strong. And it, it does boost the lather. Uh, years ago when I was making a lot more soap than I do these days, I put uh, sugar syrup in nearly every soap batch I ever made. Um, but then I kind of got into making really simple soaps um, when this YouTube channel started and got going. So I haven't used it actually for years and this is the first time I'll be using it in any of my soap recipe videos. So that is just about dissolved, just in the short amount of time I've been talking to you about it. All you wanna do is just make sure there's no little granules of sugar left in there. Just keep stirring and heating till it's all dissolved. Lots of soap making resources from America say that you should use one to two teaspoons of sugar per pound of oils in your soap recipes. Um, so you could use probably two to three teaspoons of this per pound of oils, but all of my soap recipes are in grams. So I tend to, to go in grams and I weigh this, you know, two to, two to three or one to three percent, just depending on the recipe. Um, that is completely dissolved now, so I'm going to turn that off. It's completely clear. There's no little granules of 
sugar left at all in that. The only thing that you have to watch out for with this is that any sugar added to a cold process soap recipe, um, with hot process it doesn't matter because you're heating the soap anyway and you're really accelerating the saponification reaction. But with cold process, any sugar, and that includes sugars and other types of sugary substances like honey, even fruit purees and things like that that might have sugar in them, um, they will accelerate that saponification. So if you add too much, it will really speed up, it can speed up the trace and speed up the, the reaction of your soap from the, from the batter into the hardened soap. So just be aware of that. And if you add way too much sugar, you can get, um, you know, your soap might crack, it might overheat, it could even volcano out of the mold. So stick to that one to 3% of sugar syrup or sugar um, in your soap recipe and that will serve you pretty well. But you know, you can experiment with it. Depends on the oils that you use too. If you're using oils in your recipe that are very slow moving, like making an olive oil soap, a Castile soap, then you could get away with using more sugar in your recipe. All I do then is I get a clean glass jar. You could use a bottle too if you wanted to. And just pour that sugar syrup into the jar. Oops, I made more than I can fit in that jar. That's all right, I'll find another jar for the rest of that. So that's still quite hot. I'll just leave that lid off for a while. And then I just store this in my fridge. This jar will last me a very, very, very long time in the fridge. Um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that and you found it helpful. Um, yeah, make up some sugar syrup. Obviously, if you use darker colored sugars, you're gonna have darker colored syrup. So if you want a nice, clear, uncolored sugar syrup, that won't discolor your soap batches, um, then use white sugar. But also beware that if you add too much sugar syrup or sugar into your soap recipes, that in itself can discolor your soap if it overheats. So it's a bit of a balancing act, but keep the amount low and you'll be fine. I'll put those details in the description box of this video as well, in case you missed it. Thanks everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.